Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Star Wars Meg, and today we're going to be talking about the planet Exegol in the Unknown Regions, the underworld of the Sith, as they call it in Star Wars Episode 9. Before we get going with the video, guys, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell. On this channel, I talk about Star Wars theories, Star Wars speculation, Star Wars news, everything from a galaxy far, far away. Also, please do me a huge favor by hitting that like button down below. And without further ado, you guys, let's get into the video. The planet Exegol was a dark desert planet located within the unknown regions, which according to legend was the hidden world of the Sith. It was occupied by obviously Emperor Palpatine and the Sith Eternal who were a Sith cult group which basically worshipped the Emperor and all of his legacy. Uh, it was occupied by the Emperor by 35 years after the Battle of Yavin, which is also known as ABY in the Star Wars universe. Um, so Exegol was the birthplace of Supreme Leader Snoke, who was created by Emperor Palpatine and was actually the first part of his plan to create the final order. Uh, he concealed himself in the shadows. Exegol was used to hide the Sith Eternal fleet, which was used by Darth Sidious and the Sith Eternal, where they planned to deploy the Sith fleet and establish a new empire. Exegol was the site of a battle during the war between the First Order and the Resistance, which saw the defeat of the Sith Loyalists at the end of Episode 9. So let's talk about the planet itself. We barely get many uh, daytime glimpses of the planet, I suppose, but then again, there is no daytime on Exegol. It's a dark, barren, rocky planet with desert flat plains. It has very dry conditions, which is basically a mixture of particles in its atmosphere made of dust and enormous static discharge, which appears as lightning strikes throughout the planet's surface. It was a very desolate world that was covered with enormous fissures that reached deep into its crust. They were excavated by Sith loyalists who were attempting to reach a vergence they believed to lie beneath the surface. The nearest space was littered with the remains of megafauna, resulting in a cloud of red gas and stardust to form before the world, posing a navigation barrier. So let's talk about the planet's history. Uh, there was actually a Jedi named Klee the Elder, who in a Jedi text which is called the Ramagon, he described the Exegol planet, which was once a fertile planet full of a great green environment. But that was until the Sith established their presence there, and they lay waste to the planet just as they did on Zyost and Asog, which were also planets that were fruitful until the Sith took over. So Exegol was actually one of the oldest Sith bastions, dating back about a thousand years before the fall of the Republic. And under the control of Emperor Palpatine and under the control of the Sith and the Sith Eternal, there was a Sith church which was called the Sith Citadel, which was built, and that's the one we see in Episode 9. And this was initially made for meetings and rituals which were conducted within, and Sith loyalists uh, excavated the world's large, deep planet fissures in hopes of reaching this so-called virgence, which was believed to be underneath the planet's surface. Now I've mentioned the word virgence a few times. In Star Wars, when we talk about virgence, it's like a hidden crack beneath the ground, which leads to a pathway in the Force, a very strong understanding of the Force. And some believe that Palpatine believed the power to overcome death would lie in this virgence underneath, and that's why the Sith Eternal was so obsessed with excavating it. So by the time of the last Galactic Empire, the last of the Sith Lords, Sidious and Vader, possessed the only two Wayfinders which led to the planet. And after Palpatine died in the Battle of Endor in Episode 6, the Sith Eternal Cult chose Exegol as their base, firstly because it was the most ideal place to build a massive fleet of warships, and the second reason was because it was completely hidden even from the most studious of galactic historians who knew where the Sith worlds were, such as Korriban and Moraband. So they were basically suspecting that no one would know where to find them. The Unknown Regions was a very difficult place to navigate for any person who knew the galaxy and even the Jedi. Outside of the description of the planet and what it was used for, what we know, the rest of what we know about it is basically found in Star Wars Episode 9. We know that Kylo Ren ar arrived there after finding the Wayfinder on Mustafar and he discovered Emperor Palpatine was behind Snoke. Uh, Palpatine, being as crafty as he was, made a deal with Kylo Ren to bring Rey to him, and when he did, he revealed to her that he wanted her to take over as Empress. 
So that's basically everything we know about Exegol. I think it's a very gloomy planet with a lot of history. Unfortunately, we don't get much in canon other than uh, what we see in episode 9 and what we read in the novelization of episode 9. Let me know what you think in the comments down below as to what else it may have been used for. Uh, what I would love Star Wars to bridge the gap between is how Emperor Palpatine came back between episode 6 and episode 9. You know, I, I really would have wanted at the end of episode 8 to be some sort of clue that we'd see Darth Sidious, but okay, you know, the sequel trilogy uh, was a bit of a mess in terms of how they structured it. There was no plan from the start, so unfortunately Exegol and the whole Emperor Palpatine returning thing was a last minute adjustment by J.J. Abrams and Lucasfilm to appeal to fans and to get, you know, butts in cinema seats, so to speak. So that's it, guys. That's the video. That's everything we know about Exegol. That's everything you need to know about Exegol. Uh, so yeah, the Sith Eternal, Palpatine, they were there. They were trying to discover um, what was lying underneath the planet's surface, and it was used as a getaway base and a hideaway to basically make a comeback. There isn't much else to know about Exegol other than that. I'm Star Wars Meg, and if you enjoy my content, please hit subscribe, please hit the notifications bell to be alerted every time I upload a new video, and I will see you with another video very soon. Thanks for watching.